So because Strike Force is back up, I'm gonna get on and make sure that you know all my stuff it gets done because I haven't been able to get on. At least I hope that it's back up. Because uh, we were in the middle of a war and a raid and all this other stuff. So if it's not back up, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But they just started a raid, so I'm sure it is. I think it is, yeah. Update available. Oh, I gotta update. Update. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be updating it first, and then I will be playing. I forgot about the update thing. Dude. There's, I play too many games. I play too many games. Like, it just hit me. Because I was like, oh, I gotta play Darkness Rises. I haven't got on today. And I'm like, oh my god. Now I'm thinking about, I haven't played Dungeon Hunter. And like, it's been like a week. I gotta get on Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, bro. Crazy. Three new playable characters. So they, they did Adam Warlock is in the game now. By the Bell and Moon Dragon. So we got new characters. Uh probably behind a paywall. There's Adam Warlock. Bay Bell. Oh, other way. And then uh Moon, whatever. Oh, they got the new costume for Loki as well. And they just did a rework on uh what's her name right there? Nebula. So, there's going to be some changes. I wonder how it's going to go. Boundless Entertainment, a Scopely studio. So they actually... So they doled it down. It's no longer Scopely, I guess. I, I guess now it's... It's a studio. Kane. Kane. You better stop. Uh, It's a studio underneath Scopely. That's weird. I'm asking Nitro right now. Hell yeah, we won. We're victory. Let's get my two orbs, since I haven't been on. Of two characters that I already have max of. Alright, resource availability update. We got purple gear, full gear, parts D3. Doom, raid updates, ISO 8 blue, file of Vel, maintenance, thank you, availability update, nebula, ISO shade, file of Vel, Gamora, availability update for long shot is now in the war store, uh, arena rank, raid, raid, Raid. New Raid War difficulty. Okay. It says I have 17, but I have none. I can't get Doc Ock. Super upset about that. I'll be able to get more Magneto, I think. No, I will not. I might be. No, I won't. Nope. Uh, vote for Loki. It's going to be an event that happens with Father Bell. All right, that'd be pretty cool. Flame. So we'll see what all this stuff is about, because obviously it's new to the game, and we'll see if people are going to be upset about it, happy about it. I only got 75. Oh, people are probably going to be pissed. Collect. I just need... None of that. None of that either. Crazy. Beta Raider. Okay. Don't need any of him. Blitz. Already done. Alliance War. Look at that. That's cool. That's very cool. I like that. What's that? That's a cool new screen right there. League info. Alright, so. Rewards. We are in Platinum 1. That's our current league. Gold, gold. Okay, let's see. Diamond. So what's it go? Plat yeah, platinum up to diamond. Damn, we're in platinum one? That's crazy. Wow, we're almost at the top of the ranks. 
Jesus, I feel bad for us. We've gotten beat twice since we've been in Platinum 1. Twice. Right, let's see what happens if we do this. Uh, I want to do... I want to do something for, like, the sub goal. I want to set a sub goal, right? And if we get... Like... Yeah, I heard. I heard. They said that it would be really cool to have Omni-Man in um, Mortal Kombat 11. They said he would be a great opponent for Mortal Kombat. I, I thought that would be really cool. I thought it would be cool. If I but then again, like, you gotta think of the strength of Omni-Man. Does, like, is that fair? You know what I mean? Like, Omni-Man is super strong. Literally born and bred to kill. Sub goal, throw it back. Oh, I was thinking about, like, if I do, like, a sub goal to show you guys, like, parts of my routine. As we hit the subs, you know what I mean. So like, let's say we, let's say I, I set the sub goal for fit, like because we're at ten now, right? Yeah, we're at ten. So let's say I, I do the sub goal for like fifteen, right? Well, at fifteen, I show you guys like one of the movements that I'm I plan on doing, right? And then twenty, another one, twenty-five, go up by fives. I thought it'd be cool, but I don't know. Wouldn't Omni-Man be better for Injustice? I agree. Omni-Man would be ten times better for Injustice just because of his placement on the cartoon hero and everything. Like that. Kind of like, uh... Kind of like a DC hero. Yeah, Mantis is killing me here. That's literally why I lost that. Well, most of the Mortal Kombat people aren't alive or not human. Most of them are human. Most of, well, I mean, okay, you, you, there's a lot of the main characters that are human. Alright, let's see what we can do. Start up some raids. Difficulty 3. I don't know which one this is. Okay, this is the normal one we always do. Ninja Nitro down for creative match. Come on, forget Strike Force. Forget Strike Force. The hell? I you don't understand. I haven't been able to get on this game all day. It's been under maintenance all day. That's me. Bring it. Superhumans, at least. Well, that yeah. There's a lot of overpowered human beings, right? You know what I mean? There's a lot of overpower. Oh, I'm gonna play what I want regardless. But, <laughs> but thank you, Lordy. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. These these thundering ham hawks. I got you. Which brings me to my next thing. I played. Uh, I uh, I uploaded two more YouTube videos. Uh, workout YouTube videos that I plan on. Uh, releasing, I think it's gonna be like the 20, 21st, 22nd of this month. You guys gotta remember, my videos are pre, pre-made. So, like, the one was when I was 217 pounds, right? And I was like, oh, sh you know, like, I did not look the way that I do now. And then the other one was when I was, uh, it was the, a couple days ago. So I was like, okay, sweet. Look at Adam Warlock, he looks amazing. They did a great job on his art. I only have a few energy that I can use, Dark Wolf. Like, I will, I will play, but I'm saying... I only have a few energy that I can use, and I gotta help out my alliance. I had the choice to watch Mortal Kombat or Demon Slayer, I watched Demon Slayer. Yes, I agree with you on that one. 
I have the choice to watch either or and both, and I will probably watch both. Yeah, I'm about to die in this one. It's those freaking supports, like these guys, the shield supports are killing me. Mm. Dude, I love Marvel Strike Force. I think this is a great game. I don't understand. I heard someone cry, but I was like, bruh. Wait, they cried for the movie? So something that bad happens? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm going to find out. Did, when did it come out? I want to know when it came out. <clears throat> like, am I am I too far out of the loop? Am I not enough in the loop? Like, where when? I need to take out that support so bad, dude. That's insane. Dude, that's way too much. I can't believe that he's. God, it, they, every time somebody makes a move, they get a move, and I hate it. Bleed done. Take out that guy. The Iron Man. Take out Iron Man. They're making a new saw type movie involving cops like making what the police's perspective when it came down to jigsaw first of all if anyone ever has any questions about jigsaw bro let me tell you i own all seven movies i love the concept i love the the i just love jigsaw like i love saw and i love jigsaw i think it was a great Thing. I think it was amazing. I thought it was like one of the best freaking things that I've ever I've ever watched. The yeah, I know the movie takes place after season one. That's why I was waiting to watch it. They're already like putting out uh, trailers for like season two, and I have not watched the trailers for season two because I don't know if it's gonna spoil anything for, about Mugen Train. No, no, and no. Where is my mystic theme? There it is. Cops are getting kidnapped by Jigsaw guy or whatever. No, because you gotta re you gotta remember. Now this is spoilers for anybody who hasn't watched Saw. Jigsaw's dead, right? Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson in it. Is this supposed to be a serious movie? There's no way it's a serious movie if Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson are in it. It, it must be like a, a comedy, like a spoof. Has to be. Has to be like a spoof. I mean, freaking light, bro. Literally just falls down by itself now. Yeah. I asked Putt if she bought the thing. She was like, no, I haven't bought them. I was like, oh, shit. So she hasn't bought the new lights yet, but she's working on it. She just bought my uh, my shorts, my uh, posing trunks for my show. It's a serious movie? There's no way. Samuel L. Jackson's, he could be funny, right? I mean, like misleading, misleadingly funny, right? It's from the books of Saul. The books of Saul. Like, like Saul, like the novel? Or you mean like it's gonna be about books? But I cannot see Chris Rock being serious in a movie. Almost ever. You see, that's where you, you go down to the whole stereotyping. Uh, like, Jim Carrey, when he did the number 23. Everybody was super upset about, like, he can't be serious. It's it's a serious movie. How can it be serious? But I watched the number 23, and I actually enjoyed it, right? And I was like, wow, I guess Jim Carrey did do a good job. 
But then he went on because he was stereotyped under the, you know, information that he was only a comedian actor and he could only star in comedies and continue to fill out his role throughout com comedies. But it, everybody forgets he also did, uh, what was the name of that movie? Um, it wasn't, what was it? Moon. Something Moon. I can't remember the name of the movie now. Man on the Moon or something, I think. It was a really good movie, you know? I watched it years ago. And that was a serious movie, too. That's like saying that The Rock could only star in action movies because he's just an action guy. But he's filmed in multiple other movies as well. Like comedy and... You know, stuff like that. I really need to work on this this team right here. Oh, God. I need to work on this team. And I'm mad about it. I don't want to. That might have been the worst mistake I ever made. Chris Rock was in Madagascar. That's what I'm saying. Chris Rock is super unfunny. It's called Spiral. Oh, I saw a commercial for that the other day. You know what? I looked at it and I'm like, oh man, they're making another Saw movie? I was actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't see Chris Rock in the trailer, though. It, I don't know if it was a trailer or not, but... It was like a... It showed off the jigsaw... Symbol or whatever. Yeah, so they made a new difficulty for the raids. Alright, cool. I looked at it. Now stop showing it to me. Same with Jackie Chan. He's a martial artist. And he's in co comedies. Jackie Chan's in a lot of comedies. Bro, I just looked at it. What do you mean? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Difficulty 3, 2, and 1. Yeah. Got it. Appreciate it. I hate when those little red orbs show up on my freaking screen. It makes me so mad. I know it's like the most insignificant thing to be mad at, but I just, I'm like, I hate it. Alright, nothing for him. Nothing for her. Nothing for him. Samuel L. Jackson is going to be the jigsaw in this. Oh, that would be pretty cool. That would be like a, a nice little twist, right? Alright, let's build up Silver Surfer, obviously. He is super dope, and we need him to be super strong. I clicked on the wrong thing. Boom. Okay, never mind. I won't spoil. Yeah, no spoils. No spoils. I don't know why I purchased all that. I don't need it. <laughs> Ninja After Strike Force joined Nitro. Okay. I'm going to play a couple matches with him. Till okay, that's fine. Didn't Jigsaw have cancer? Yeah, he had cancer. Which is why his time was cut short. But he was working on his last project, which was, uh, it was number three. It was Saw 3, where you find out that he's, you know, dying of cancer. And that it's not him doing all the stuff. That's what, like, that's where the twist came in. And then, dude, Saw, I don't care what anyone says about Saw 7, like Saw 3D. Like, a lot of people hate it on Saw 3D. I fucking loved it. And that ending was, like, the biggest, like, brain, like, it screwed your brain. You know what I mean? So hard. I loved it. It was so, it was amazing. I know that came out of context, like, really wrong. Like, screwed your brain real hard. Yeah. Who's gonna like that? No. <laughs> but it's, uh, it was awesome. It was dope. No, Dark Wolf just wants to play. It's fine. What is Jigsaw's motive? 
he just wants people to enjoy their life. Which is why I can resonate with him so well. Like, what Jigsaw essentially says is like, don't tarnish the life that you're given and love the life that you lead, right? And the people that he usually captures, well, that he sends his people out to capture and everything, are people that have taken their life for granted and like tried to, you know, commit suicide and, you know, uh, done bad things to other people. No, no, no. If you remember, in every movie, there was a way for them to get out of every puzzle. There was a way for them to get out together. If they would work together, they can make it out all together. In every movie. In every movie, everyone screws up. And I believe that that is literally what society is today. Nobody has to fight for their life. They literally could just make it out all together and be fine. But because people are so driven by motive, right, they end up killing each other. But in every puzzle, everybody can get out. But that's why I like uh, Jigsaw's motive so much, is because it's just like, li love your life and love the life that you live. Which is why I, I resonate with him, because it's like, I just want everyone to be happy. And, you know, I mean, I don't resonate, him, uh, resonate with him on that level, obviously. I'm not taking people into dark alleys and torturing them and stuff and making them, like, appreciate the life that they were given. But, sometimes people need a wake-up call, you know, like, things can be worse. You can always fix things, you know? And that's what I tell my wife every time something bad happens. I'm always like, baby, we got this. We've been through worse. You know? That's why I resonate with him. Yeah, exactly. So, like, if you remember Saw 6, it was somebody who was selling a house uh, that they knew had been burned down because it was like a meth den. A drug dealer from the meth den that helped burn down the house. Uh... The person that put the house on the market, knowing that it had been a crack den, and killed a bunch of people inside, uh, the, I think it was like, the person that sold the drug, not the drug dealer, but like the person that sold the drugs to the drug dealer, and then the person that won the, oh yeah, it was the person that won the lawsuit against the company, um for the company uh, so that they can continue to sell that building even though they knew they were going to burn it down and then somebody else uh, and I, when I watched it I was like dude dude that's crazy that's insane anyway I'm done with uh, Marvel Strike Force for now I can't do anything else